I should probably do it to Steve. Sandy, you better back up. <laughs> I, I didn't know which way he's going. Okay. Let's, we're going to work on Sayanagi tonight and a really fun version of Sayanagi. This is a low squat style Sayanagi. Uh, we're going to do a couple of versions here with Derek. And I'm have Don Hinchliffe come in and show a variation because he's, he's done this quite well in his career as well. So let's look at this very low squat style Sayanagi. This may not be for everybody. I'm a big tall guy. This isn't my cup of tea. Uh, I'm more of a knee drop person, but you know what? Um, I see tall guys use it, so you know, just it's, it's your own personal preference. The idea here is, is Derek just kind of gets your legs a little wider than normal. What Derek's, to, before I have him do it, his idea is to come underneath Eric and in a squatting position. So just he comes in just to jump in and see how low he is. See, that's the idea. Now look how far he is between the legs. Even if his legs were together, it's kind of like a bowling ball hitting bowling pins, they go flying everywhere. So even okay. if his legs are close, you can still make them, you can split them open, but if they're a little wider, it makes it all that much easier. So come out again. Now, another thing on this that I think is an important phase of this, or aspect of it, is when Derek throws, he wants his head in front of his knees. In other words, his butt's gonna be pretty far back, and he's leaning into the direction of the throw, and rather than being just squatting and being upright, okay? So we're going to show you the wrong way first. Just come in and squat upright, just like you're squatting. Okay, now that, that could work. Don't get me wrong. Some guys may like that. But if you want to get a lot of more ballistic effect, really, really drill this guy when you come in, when you come back out. When you're coming in, you're going to just literally dive in deep like that. See how low he is? And then when he throws, just go ahead and play the roll. Wham. See how he stays really round. We talk a little bit about staying round. That's what you did. When you threw that guy the other day at the tournament, Ryan, that's exactly what you did. Only you added to it because you really jumped in the air, which I thought was just so cool. <laughs> anyway, so and that was like a quadruple pong. We love seeing that. That's kind of why we're working on it tonight. So let's work on two variations of it here. And I'm going to have uh, Coach Don come in. We're going to work on the Yipon Se Nagi style. Now you can use the sleeve or the lapel. Okay, so basically it's just a standard Yipon Se Nagi. So can you do that for us? So he's going to come in. Standard upon Sayanagi, okay, and when he comes in, he's going to dive in, and you're going to let him squat. This is a, you know, all for nothing, a, you know, go for broke throw, okay, and you're going to dive in and roll, and also watch how he finishes. Now, we're not doing it on the crash pad here. We will later for safety, but when Derek throws, he, he, he keeps rolling through. He wants to keep rounding himself up, so you can see. So go ahead and toss him in. Bam. That's a big, big throw. That, by, by doing that, by diving into him and driving into him, you literally jump into it and add to the effect of the throw. It almost looks like he's doing a knee drop, doesn't it? He's that low, okay? You can have your knees together. There's some variations to this. Some guys like their knees wide. Some guys will have a little turn to the side, a little turn this way. You know, some guys will have their legs together. That's personal preference. Everybody's gonna do it a little bit different because we're all built, built differently. So that's, that's how that works. So one more time, jump in, and we'll do the uh, double sleeve. So the Ipon Sayanagi version, way in. Finish right in there. Now, the double sleeve version works really well, too. Sode Surikomi, or Sode uh, Sayanagi, uh, double sleeves. And it's the same throw, except I'm just, the upper body's the only sh change here, OK? So I'm gonna, he's going to jump in real, real low squat. Way in. There you go. So it's a double sleeve grip. That is a really low, cool throw. It is really in a pawn producer. So there, let's take a look at it again. Slam. And he's being nice. He's rolling and he doesn't really slam him. So those are two. Those are two variations. The now you can also do Barote style, you know, the, the, the you know, both hands say Nike style, or Erie, you know, with the lapel. So if he's doing a Barote style, you know. Yeah. He's going to do double lapel. He's going to do double lapel. So that's cool too. So watch him. He's going to jump. You, you go what you want. <laughs> See, he's got both lapels. He's pulling both the shoulders. Okay. So those are some variations of it that are really good. Now notice he's so deep between the legs that he's just driving up and over. Yeah, it's just like, you know, he's literally projecting Eric over his body with great force. That. That's what's called, you know, a throw, a nage, nage to, to, to throw something over the body. Coach, you want to jump yeah, in? Yeah, I'll just, I'll add a couple of things because Derek does a 
it's really, really good. Ipansuranagi. But staying with that Ipansuranagi, Derek likes to throw, he holds left side, and he likes to throw right side. I hold right side, I like to throw left side. So, we're going to turn this way. But, Derek also, I don't know why he does this, but about half the time he grabs the sleeve, and the other half the time he doesn't grab the sleeve. And I'll tell you, I don't like grabbing the sleeve because it causes a common mistake, which is a gap between him and I. Okay? When I pop in like this, if I try to grab that sleeve, I have a gap. Okay? So, I'll take this hand and pull it in here. And it's not just going to lay in here. It's crushing. I'm going to pull it across my chest. It's okay? crushing it in. So, so when he goes, I'm still rotating those shoulders, which is the other common problem. You see Derek, when he throws it, he does a great job of rolling his shoulders. And Steve talked about getting your head over your knees. When you get in here, if your head is over your knees, you're driving off your toes. The other common mistake is that you drive it forward instead of rolling your shoulders. And you end up stretched out like this because you're trying to throw it hard, you're trying to push and drive. He broke the cardinal rule, he didn't stay around, did he? No. That's, so, that's what he's talking about right there. If you don't roll your shoulders, they're going to end up on your back. Okay? So, a couple of other things to look at when you practice your serenagi. Clamp this arm in tight into your chest. When you do that, you'll get this right arm pull, as well as your left. Close the gap. You get low and you stay round. And if you can finish looking up towards the ceiling or behind you, that's how you want to finish. That's so sweet. We good guys. Those are really good. A lot of a lot of stuff going on there with saying Nagi. But you notice know, individual differences. Some guys who are Morote style, they'll push up, they'll look. Everybody has a little bit different style, but it makes it work for you, okay? We good? Let's drill on that.